Hi guys, Sajjad Hussain again with a new video. In this video, we are going to design a T-section concrete beam. For this particular case, the dead and live load moments are given as dead load is 72 feet kip and live load moment is 88 kip fit. F dash C is 4000 PSI. FY is given as 60,000 PSI. And the T section has a total width of flange is 30 inch. The thickness of the flange or the depth of the flange is 2.5 inch. Effective depth for the ten tension reinforcement is 19 inch. The web has a width of 10 inch and this formula it is calculated that ultimate moment is 227 fit kip and the value of A is calculated as 1.64 inch which is of course less than 2.5 inch that is the height of the or thickness of the flinch and here the condition is mentioned clearly that when A is less than HF AS determination of AS is just like a rectangular section. That means this beam will be calculated as a simple rectangular beam. Let us see what a stat can do. What I did, I have modeled this beam with the length of 10 feet so that I can easily convert the moments into UDL and I calculated the UDL so dead load comes out to be 5.76 kip per running foot live load comes out to be 7.04 kip per running foot and I input these values over here you can see the dead load is 5.76 kip per running foot and the live load is 7.04 kip per running foot and of course a combination of one point two dead plus one point six live Let us edit and see. Okay. Now let us analyze. No error, no warning, no notes. Let us see the output. Okay, so the beam is designed and there are only two number 11 bars fine two number 11 bars two number 11 bars if you see the concrete design over here two number 11 bars at the bottom and the area of steel is 2.70 square inch. Let us check what is the area of his teeth over here. Area of his steel is 2.78, which is very close to the value calculated by stack. That means Stat can design a T section also. Really? Hold on. Can we say that? No. This statement is 50% correct only. Why? Because although it is modeled as T section, but it is designed as simple rectangular beam. 
to check whether the stat can design a proper T section or not. Let us see the next example. Here, same section is checked against an ultimate moment of 400 kip fit. So, if I want to calculate this value 400 kip fit, let me do some mathematics. Say, So in previous example, our ultimate moment was 272, if we remember correctly. Sorry, the moment was 227. Now we have to multiply by a factor of 400 divided by 227. That means almost 1.76 times I have to multiply. So this dead load 70, two should be So this should be actually equal to multiplied by 400 and divided by 227. Same thing I should do over here. This should be multiplied by 400 and divided by 227. So that means now my dead load should be 10.15 and live load should be 12.405. Let me change over here. So dead load should be 12.45. Let me check once more if it is correct. Sorry. 10.15, this should be 10.15, change, and lead load should be 12.405, it should be 12.405, change, close, let's see what happens. Analyze, okay. Done. Go to post-processing. Let us see the bending moment. Okay, so the bending moment is 400. And now let us see the result. Oh. So a suitable bar arrangement could not be determined. Required still is 5.109 square inch. Maximum possible is 6.2. And maximum positive moment is 400.35. That means Stat has a limitation. For T beam, if the depth of neutral axis is less than the thickness of the flange, it can design the T beam as a simple rectangular beam. But if the depth falls below the thickness of the flange, then Stat cannot design. 
So whenever we model, whenever we do our calculation, whenever we do our structural analysis, especially in concrete, we should know the limitations of a stat. Hopefully, you will like this video. Please do not forget to subscribe my channel and give a like to my video. Thank you very much.